the best dip. And it's straight up delicious. Wait, this has calories? Hummus would win the top prize in the best all around category. Hummus has been increasingly making its way into people's shopping carts. Hummus. 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 It's got the flavor. It's got the health benefits. It's got the versatility. If you're anything like me, you've been super into hummus recently. <laughs> it's my go to snack, and I put it on my sandwich every day. Making your own hummus can seem daunting at first but I'm here to show you that it's really not that bad. And I personally find it so satisfying to make your own batches of hummus. What's, What's up, up guys? guys? I'm B. And I'm Z. I'm our We're BZ Bites. <laughs> Still getting used to talking on camera, guys. Here are the ingredients I will be using today. And let's get into it. First and foremost, pop open your can of garbanzo beans, aka chickpeas. Then rinse out that chickpea juice and we're gonna boil our chickpeas for about six to eight minutes to help get the skins off. You can add baking soda here to help even more, but I didn't have any on hand. After those have boiled for a bit, go through and try to pick out all of the chickpea skins you can find that fell off. And you can actually pinch the chickpeas and the skins will just fall right off. Try it, it's super satisfying. The more skins you get off here, the better texture we're gonna get in the end result. Next, an optional step, I'm gonna oven roast one pepper and one red bell pepper for that added flavor and spiciness. To do this, just cut off the stems, throw your oven on broil, and throw them in until they get that nice crispy look, like so. After these cool for a bit, then you want to peel off that outer burnt skin. This helps with both the flavor and the texture of the end result hummus. And now it's blending time. If you have a food processor, lucky you, that is exactly what you want to use for this step. But if not, you can use another high power blender. I'm using my friend Christian's Ninja, that works. I've also made batches of hummus in the baby Ninja blenders. If you do that, get prepared for a lot of blending. Start by pouring in your peeled chickpeas. Then one third a cup of tahini. Then about four tablespoons of olive oil. The juice of one lime. Then go ahead and get that guy blending for at least two minutes there. We'll call this the first mix. We just want to get those base ingredients to start mixing together. Make sure you have a dance party in the background during the first mix for optimal results. After this, give everything a nice scrape off of the walls. I'm adding another half log here because the log I use is quite small. And then the oven roast ingredients with a second mix. Of course, it is required that you do your second mix dance to manifest the good hummus. Hit it with another wall scrape if you don't feel like the ingredients are getting mixed up. It'll get everything unstuck. Guys, I almost forgot my garlic. That would have been a blunder, but add about three cloves. Now for the third mix, we're gonna add salt and any other spices you might wanna add, and then we're gonna perfect the texture. I added a good amount of ground cumin and then a little bit of paprika and then an even smaller amount of cayenne pepper. So once you get that mix in, we're gonna slowly add in the smallest amount of water, a little at a time, little by little. Do this while it's mixing together through the little hole in the top, and then each time after we add a little water, give it a little time to mix and then Stop it, open it up, push down the sides, push it all together, kind of check the texture, and then rinse and repeat until you have the desired texture of that perfect creamy hummus. Keep in mind, it will become less creamy when you put it in the fridge and then cools down from room temperature. Lastly, another fun thing I like to do is I put my Tupperware on our kitchen scale and I zero that baby out, and then I put all the hummus into that Tupperware and I like to see how big the batch was. This particular yield was 14.7 ounces. Pretty good. For comparison, the Sabra store-bought hummuses I used to buy are 10 ounces. So we beat them by 4.7 ounces here. No big deal. And not to mention, we did it for cheaper. Know your place, Saba. Hi, my name is Holly. Huge fan of BZ Bites. Extremely honored to be here to witness it in person. So you're a subscriber. I'm a subscriber and everyone should be. <laughs> 